Hello my son. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Yes mom, I slept well. Like a big baby in the arms of Jesus. Thanks. And you my lovely mom. I also slept well by the grace of God. Have you already prayed? What are you going to eat this morning? Yes, mom, I already prayed for food. You know, mom, yesterday night, I prayed to God for mercy for a job. It has been a long time since I finished my studies and received my computer engineering diploma by His grace. When I see you and think of all the sacrifices you have made for me, despite our situation, I am really sad. I want to find a job and take care of you, mom. You know my son, I am proud of you and it is a joy for me to know how many times you think of me. You know if it was God, in His infinite love, who allowed you to study and graduate with honors. He will also give you work, because what He has started, He will finish. I give Him all the glory because without Him, I can't do anything. Do not be afraid because God is faithful. I trust Him. Yes, Mom. God is going to do it. I trust Him. He is my dad. Mom, I had a dream. Yesterday night, I went to look for a work somewhere and saw that the only job available was that of a courier. I saw a very old man who told me to accept this job as a courier that will make him compete. That is for my own good. Next to this old man was a woman. It was you, Mom, you were telling me to humble myself under the powerful hand of God. At the appropriate time he will elevate him, and that obedience is better than sacrifice. The observation of his word is better than the fat of a ram. And I woke up when I was praying this morning. These are the same words that resonated into me. My son, I thank God for this dream. It is very clear. You know in everything. You must give the first place to God. You have to obey, honor him. God is your creator and your dad. I am nothing but a vase that he used for you to be on this earth. He alone knows the plan he has established for your life and the path he will take you through to bring you into his perfect plan. No matter how many prayers and fasting we can do, without obedience without submission to the voice of the Holy Spirit, you will never fulfill God's perfect plan for your life. It will be impossible for you to see God's purpose being fulfilled in your life. Obedience to the Holy Spirit is the key to your joy, your success, your realization, your destiny. You are my darling son. No matter what difficulties we are going through, I choose and encourage you to do God's will. The dream you had means that you will find work, but not according to your skills, your diplomas. But the Holy Spirit is telling you to do God will act and he will make this work for your good, according to his design, according to the plan he established for you before birth. Whoever loves God, obedience to God is the proof of our love for him. Thanks mom, my lovely mom. Thanks for your advice. It is a grace that God has given me by giving me a mother like you. I will do God's will regardless of the difficulties. I know that he loves so much and everything he tells me to do is only for my own good and happiness. I praise the Holy Spirit for the path he sets out for me, the path he shows me. I am grateful to him and honor him for his presence in my life. Tomorrow, I will go to a company that was recommended to me a company in which I also filed the files. Thank you mom for all the sacrifices you make for me and the education you gave me about God. To let yourself be directed by the Holy Spirit is to have the assurance of happiness in all things. Thank you my son for your obedience to God. I am proud of you. You fill me with happiness. We are going to pray, give thanks to God, and put everything back into his hands. Almighty God, Dad, I want to say thank you for your grace and everything in our lives. Thank you for the wonderful plan you have made in the life of your son Jacques and the path you have traced to bring him into his destiny. May all the glory go to you for your love and fidelity. Glorious and excellent Holy Spirit, I consecrate him to you and entrust him to you so that you may guide him in God's perfect plan, in all areas of his life. Give him to always be obedient and submissive to you. Amen. Thank you for your love and presence in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My mom, you are blessed. You are the most extraordinary and splendid mom in the whole world. Thank you, my son. You are also blessed. You are also the most wonderful, obedient, 
humble, wise, and intelligent son in the whole world. You are unique. I love you. I love you too, mom. Yes, come in. Good morning, Mr. DG. Hello, Mr. Jonas. My secretary has told me that you want to see me. What can I do for you? Have a seat. I came to see you to apply for a job in your company. Oh good. What is your specialty? What did you do specifically? I am in the IT field. Concretely, I am a computer engineer. That is great, but there are no vacancies in my company. I can't do anything for you I am sorry. Thank you sir thank you very much for the time you have given me. Despite your busy schedule. Mr. Jonas, please. It is a pleasure to have met you. Goodbye to you sir. Thanks on the other hand, the company needs a courier. I don't know if you'll be interested. It's not a problem Mr. DG, I can do it. I gladly accept. As you don't find any inconvenience. Monday morning at 8 a.m., you can start, you are hired, you will have a salary of $1,500 a month. Thank you sir if there's nothing else, I think I'm going to leave. There is nothing left. You can leave. I will leave the instructions for you at the secretarial level. All the papers will be prepared for you to sign on Monday. Okay Mr. DG, goodbye and see you Monday. See you Monday and welcome to society. Welcome my son, how has your day been? Thanks my lovely mom. My day was exceptional. I thank the Holy Spirit who has been with me. Without his presence, I can't do anything. How did your interview go? Can't wait to find out. Mom, everything went well. The dream I had came true perfectly. I was hired as a courier with a salary of $1,500 per month and I start Monday morning at 8 a.m. Oh good. What great news! The Holy Spirit is good and wonderful, and He always guides the steps of God's children to lead them in their rest. I am very happy. You know, Mom, what surprised. The secretary received me well despite the fact that the CEO was not receiving today. The secretary announced me and the CEO also, despite his busy schedule, received me. God is too powerful and sovereign. Everything is under His control. Yes. It is true, my son, when you obey God, he makes every effort to fulfill his plan and glorify his name. Obedience to God triggers the manifestation of his power. Faith cannot function without obedience, submission to God or to the Holy Spirit. Abraham is called the father of faith. Hebrews 11, verse 8. Because of his obedience to God, obedience to God is proof of your love for him and proof of your trust in him. John 14. Verse 15, 21, 23, 24. My son Jesus said in John 14, verse 31 But so that the world may know that I love the Father, and that I act according to the order that the Father has given me. Get up, let's get out of here, my son. I strongly advise you to obey God, what He will tell you, no matter how difficult it may be, know that everything God asks you to do is only for your own good. Know that God loves you and no one can love you and do you good more than God. When you obey the Holy Spirit, it will bring peace and joy, no matter what difficulties or challenges you encounter. My son, do you want to be blessed or on earth? Attach yourself to obedience to God. He who does not obey God, the Holy Spirit, is like the one who does divination. He who resists God is comparable to an idolater, as in Samuel. 15. Verse 22 to 23. Amen, Mom. My son, walking according to the Holy Spirit, obeying God will cause you criticism, insults, humiliations, misunderstandings, persecutions, rejections, abandonments. Because God will ask you to do sometimes things that are beyond human intelligence and wisdom. Do not give up, stand firm and completely trust in God, because God's approval is better than the one of men. Pay close attention to each other's advice, because out of envy, jealousy, misunderstanding, or carnal thoughts, they can divert you from your destiny from the path laid out by God to lead you into your rest. 
No, my son, that being rich and having all the goods in this world does not mean that you have fulfilled God's plan for your life. There are many people who live in frustration, in bitterness, because they have missed God's plan for their lives. They are heartbroken and in constant pain. I love you, my son, and I want to see you happy. Mom, thank you so much for your advice. I thank God for this blessing that you are for me. I give glory to God for your life. I am very grateful to God. Let us pray. Lord, I give you all the glory for the magnificent work you are doing in the life of your son. What you've started, you're going to finish. Thanks for the wonderful work you gave him. Give him to do it for your glory and to honor your name wherever he goes. May he make you the delight of his heart in the name of Jesus. Jack, you are the light of the world. You are the work of God recreated in Christ for the good works that God your father has prepared for you long in advance so that you will practice them do it heartily as for the lord and not for men colossians 3 verse 23 take care of society as if it were to you even if men are not grateful god who is just and faithful will reward you you cannot want something and find again did for it in your neighbor's life love does no harm to your neighbor always overcomes evil with good does not minimize the beginning of something however small, and never seek to take things where your hand cannot reach, because that brings frustration, insomnia, stress. Amen mom. My son, be honest, honest, patient, don't try to go fast then. The Holy Spirit moves according to the rhythm, speak and let him lead you. He is never late at the right time, at the appointed time, he will satisfy you, do not run after the wealth of this world, but run after it. The kingdom of heaven and its justice pursue the knowledge of God. Your intimacy with the Holy Spirit runs after the things above, because you are in the world, but you are not of the world. The things you need, God will make them run after you. They are not all those who are rich, who are blessed by God, so do not envy them. Sometime if he told you what they are going through at the hands of the devil, you will have pity on them, you will cry for them and you will not stop praying for them. God trusts in you and is counting on you. I trust you too. I love you mom, you're an amazing mom. Without God, I can't do anything. I count on him and I put all my trust in him. I am going to honor God and he will help me. Thank you my son, I am proud of you. Oh I see Fred my classmate I will go grade him. Oh Fred, it's been over a month since we saw each other tonight. I told myself that I would come see you regardless of my very busy schedule. You are welcome. My brother, it is a joy for me to see you tonight. Thank you. And mom, how is she? She is well by the grace of God. She has just come out. Okay, glory to God and you my brother, and your faith and everything else is fine. I give all the glory to God. I really let all the glory go to God. I have just come to announce you that I have been hired by a company that works in the installation of software for manufacturing computers and others. That was just three weeks ago. So I don't have time anymore. But it is very good news. I am very happy for you. The Lord has answered your prayers. God is truly faithful and never abandons his children. I understand why you are really happy tonight. Congratulations my brother. I am very happy for you. Thanks brother. Yes, God is faithful. I am hired as an assistant manager with a salary of $15,000 per month in a company car at my disposal. But it's really great. I too am announcing to you that God has also blessed me. I have been hired by a company and I am starting on Monday. But it's great. What happens? God is exceptional. What position are you going to take? I was hired as a courier. What did you say courier? Are you sick? I have the impression that there's something missing in your brain with all the studies you have done and all the degrees you have, you agreed to be a courier. You are really sick and you need a psychiatrist. Are you joking or what? Witnessness. It's crazy. How irresponsible on your part. Excuse the word, but you're stupid. <laughs> You know Fred, you can say anything you want. You can call me any name, but you won't take me out of it. 
Above all, I choose to do God's will. I am determined, regardless of the opinions of others. I prefer to be led by the Holy Spirit. So hey, am I not a Christian? Do you want to tell me that you are more spiritual than me? You know, I got job offers at the same time. The first offered me a salary of $6,000 and a raise of $4,000 after six months of work. The second offered me a salary of $15,000 with a company car at my disposal. The Holy Spirit told me to choose the first offer, which is $6,000. But I am not stupid. For me, I chose what benefits me there is an N minus $1,000 difference. I can't let that go by. I am not a stunned backward jerk. I'm thinking. When the Holy Spirit tells you something, you have to see if it benefits you before you start. If you want, I can hook you up so that you can find a job that is more respectful and worthy of your rank. Fred thank you so much. I appreciate your help, but I prefer with all my heart to do what the Holy Spirit tells me. I am no smarter or wiser than the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, verse 5 trust, the Lord with all your heart do not rely on your wisdom. So, my brother, I am sorry, it is more beneficial for me to listen to the Holy Spirit than to listen to you. Mr. Courier, congratulations and good work. Hope you won't cry when you see me soon in my Rolls Royce brand car and in my luxury villa. Goodbye and good luck. Bye Fred. May the Holy Spirit help you. Brothers and sisters part 2 of this video is coming. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you d backslash not miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.